Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Poe and the D is fire. Just kidding. Um, I'm back <laughs> with a random ass video because I have a lot of thoughts. I want to talk about my thoughts and my feelings about some other TV shows that I'm watching, but they're not a part of TLC. So I really do not want to recap it. I just want to talk about it with people who are already watching the show. So this is a little disclaimer right now. If you are not watching Love is Blind or Perfect Match, you will not understand what I am talking about. So if that's gonna frustrate you or piss you off, click out of the video right now. What do I wanna talk about first? Let's get Perfect Match out of the way, okay? Because the finale was so bad. What the hell? There's so many things that went wrong. First of all, let's talk about the Melinda, Jess, and Harry situation. Where do we even begin? Okay, let me tell you what I thought when that was all happening and Harry was denying it, but Melinda was saying it really happened, it really happened, and Jess was kind of like defending her mans, uh, but then she didn't really know what to do. So initially, I believed Melinda because I was like, why would she lie? But then the editing and Harry made it seem like Melinda just made it out of thin air because she wanted clout. So then I was like, oh my God, could this be true? But then when Melinda was talking about what happened, it was way too descriptive and specific for her to be lying on the spot. So I was like, okay, I think I believe Melinda again. But then Harry was so persistent on it not happening. And then on top of that, the episode didn't show any footage of it. So I'm like, okay, they would definitely have footage of this. And if they're not showing the footage, then maybe it really didn't happen. Well, little did I know they were saving the footage for the finale. Red flag number one was when Harry was super depressed when he got back home. He was isolating in his room by himself. He was crying again. All he's been doing is crying this whole damn season. And when Jessica went up to check up on him, he was like, I did something bad. I did something bad, Jess. I, I, I carried her to the bathroom. Really? You're crying because you carried Melinda to the bathroom? Something's not making sense. He just was too distraught and too upset over something that wasn't a big deal. And then he kept adding a little bit more information to Jess. Like, yeah, I carried her to the bathroom and she was hugging me and then she tried to kiss me, but I turned my cheek. And I was like, you never said that. Like, where did this come from? And then he added a little bit more information saying that I, I asked her if she was pregnant or something like that. I can't remember the exact words. And then we hear from Melinda that Harry told her, oh, I just want to put a baby in you. And I'm like, whoa, okay, so maybe Harry told Jessica a different version of what happened. I was like, I think Harry's lying, but he's such a, he's such a good liar because he doesn't back down. He, he sticks with this lie. He can look you right in the eye. He starts crying and then he tells Jess, but I love you. I love you. And then he kept bringing up her daughter, which he knows is a weak spot for her. And he's like, I just want to be a good dad to Autumn and I love you and I love how, uh, what a good mom you are. And I was like, wow, this guy is so manipulative and it's scary. Harry is scary. Harry is scary. Repeat after me, everyone. Harry is scary because he can just lie and lie and lie with a straight face. So in the finale, we see the unaired footage of Harry and Melinda doing stuff. But what I was really surprised about was how Melinda was really egging him on. She was like, come on, come on, Harry, just do it. Just do it, come on, no one's here. No one's watching, there's no cameras over here, just do it. And I was really surprised and very disappointed. Ultimately, it's Harry's fault, but damn, I didn't expect that from Melinda. And then afterwards, he asks the producers, did anybody film that? Did anyone catch that on camera? And that was super shady. But ultimately, before even seeing that footage, before Jess was aware of that, she did break up with him and they did leave the house um, unmatched. And I was kind of surprised. I really thought Jess was stigmatized and she was going to give Harry another chance. Now, what I was really confused about was the decision to bring Jessica back. That made no sense. Were they expecting her to be magically over Harry and ready to move on with Izzy of all people? Like, what were Tolu and Chris thinking? Izzy? Izzy? No. Mm -mm. And then Micah and Kaz got back together. Like, what the hell was that? I, it, it, it was just so dumb. They only got back together so that they could stay on the show for another episode. Christine. Oh my god, she is so freaking stunning. Like, 
gorgeous, but her desperation was such a turnoff. Like, ugh, it gave me the ick. Like, I cringed. My favorite person this season was Tolu. I loved her, except I just didn't like Chris for her. I feel like she was way too good for him. I really want to know if they're still together or not. Oh, and how did Christine and Nigel win? When they announced them, I was like, what the fork? I mean, we don't even know them. <laughs> like, who are they? Do they go here? I don't know. How was it not Stevan and Al Alarna? I can't remember her name. Oh my God. I, I thought it was going to be them. Well, Melinda is all over social media. She's on her high horse saying she was right all along. She was telling the truth. Nobody believed her. But what she's not realizing is how bad that unseen footage made her look. And I kind of understood why Jess was so upset with her. It was the way she delivered the news. She was a little too happy. She was a little too excited. And it was at the expense of Jessica. Like, it wasn't cool, in my opinion. I do agree Jess should have been more upset with Harry than with Melinda, but it really was the way Melinda was <sighs> just too happy. And then we find out that she was egging this whole thing on. Ooh, I'd be so mad if I were Jess. I would be so mad. At the very end, we found out that Jess and Harry got back together and they broke up a week later. So <laughs> I don't think Harry can ever be a, a reformed F-boy. He is just perpetually in his 50s, 60s, 70s, probably till the day he dies, he's going to be an F boy, an F man, an F grandpa. Love Island USA is so good. I love Love Island. I think I've enjoyed every single season of Love Island USA except for the first season because it was so bad. I'm not watching UK right now just because I have so much on my content plate, but I'm watching USA because, well, first it was to support Ariana. I had to watch it for her. And speaking of which, Ariana looks gorgeous. Incredible. Oh my God. Every single look, stunning. A plus 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 blah 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 blah. Whoever is styling her, give them a raise. Let's talk about the two bombshells, Nicole and Andrea. They're absolutely stunning. And we all knew that the guys' heads would turn. They like pretty new shiny things. Did anyone else think Nicole kind of resembled iCarly? Or is it just me? I don't know. In certain angles and her smile, something about her just kept reminding me of Miranda Cosgrove. Rob was really annoying how he kept crying. Like, why are you crying, bitch? Like, Leah should be the one crying. You just broke her heart. And then he tells her, I really like you. I still like you, but I just don't know if you're right for me. What? And then he tells her she's sexy as fuck but then their sexual chemistry is off. Like they don't have the groove. What the hell does that mean? I'm, I'm so confused. Then he becomes super emo and hides in the pool. And then he watches the sunset all by himself. It's all very dramatic. When Leah pulled Kendall aside to vent about Rob, she told him about the part where he said he didn't feel like their sexual chemistry was good. And then Kendall's response was, well, maybe you should show him more of your sexual side. I think that's what he means. Uh, no, that was the worst advice ever. Oh my god, don't ever ask him for advice ever again. Rob is venting to Andrea, the girl that he wants to pick. And um, he's telling her that he cried and he broke down and he doesn't know what's going on. Maybe it's because he hasn't... Uh, a, a, how do I say this so that it's YouTube friendly? Um, he hasn't released his ooey gooey icing in a while. Ew, why would you... I wouldn't want to know that. Like, keep that to yourself, please. Like, don't tell me that. It was really hard for me to watch Leah with Rob because I've definitely been in her shoes where you're vibing with a guy, you like him so much, everything's going well, and then a new girl pops in and, and you're heartbroken and you kind of want to play it cool. You kind of want to play it like it's not bothering you, but it really is. And, and then you don't want to completely shut things down because he's saying that he likes you back. So you feel like you have a chance, but he also wants to explore things with the other girl. So you end up holding on to that little itty bitty hope that he'll choose you in the end. But deep down, you know that it's not going to happen. And it doesn't. In the <laughs> like, Has anyone else been there? I have been there. At the fire pit, they had a little twist where um, they had the guys who were interested in Nicole and Andrea to walk up. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. I don't know if they've ever done that before. So it was Cordell, Hakeem, and Kendall. And I was shook that Rob and Aaron didn't walk up. But of course, Rob did eventually. He looked over at Leah and he was like, I'm sorry. And then he walked up. 
And I just, oh, I know Leah's heart was broken at that moment because she probably felt safe because he wasn't going up. And then she was like holding her breath and she was like, okay, he's not going up. And then he goes, I'm sorry. And then he walks up. I was very surprised that Aaron stayed because he seemed like he really wanted to get to know Andrea. I don't know what happened, but I'm glad he stayed with Kaylor because I really like Kaylor. I think she's really adorable. Um, is she kind of annoying and immature and she cries a lot? Yes, yes, and yes, but I think she's sweet. Andrea picks Rob. Nobody surprised. I didn't know who Nicole was going to pick, but I also didn't really care. She chose Kendall though. Um, I loved how in the end, Leah looked at Rob and she mouthed, fuck you. And I was like, okay, I wasn't mad about it, but it seems like he was. And according to the preview for episode nine, things are going to pop off. Like they're going to pop off even more. I'm super excited. I'm going to actually watch it. I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about. And I think I want to do this once a week where I just talk about whatever I want. I'm not going to recap anything, but I just want to talk about whatever. Princess Poundcake8154 gave me this idea. Her comment reads, How about a weekly tea cap type show where you talk about anything you have on your mind? I'm pretty sure most of us will watch whatever you talk about, girl. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't know what to call this segment, though. So if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I want to talk about what's going on in the internet, like social media, internet drama, on a personal note, I've been apartment hunting for a while and I just keep finding, like every apartment unit that I find, there's like two or three things I don't like about it. I don't know how it happened, but like the perfect unit opened up and it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's over budget. It is over my budget, but I was like, why not? Why not? You only live once, right? Right? Yeah, that used to be my favorite saying. YOLO. Yeah, I'm such a millennial, you guys. Um, yeah, so I decided to do it and I signed the lease. I actually just closed my eyes and I was like, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to live in reality. And my parents were like, wow, you're wasting so much money. That's someone's mortgage on a really nice house. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Okay, is it really a waste of money if I wake up every single day happy as fuck to be in this apartment? I, I don't see it as a waste of money. I know some people will. You can buy a house with that. That's a down payment on a house for a year's worth of rent. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you know, you know. Well, that's it for this video. I'm gonna go and stuff my face with some chocolate because I'm PMSing, like I said. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.